What's up YouTube? Daniel Karma here for another Minecraft video. Today I am coming with a special tutorial on how to make spheres and globes and all sorts of round shapes in Minecraft. So let me get started with the first step which is actually I should be going to sleep just so we can skip the night. Let me get rid of that. Uh, get a bed. Uh, there are already a few existing methods for how to make spheres and round shapes, but the problem with that is they mainly apply to spheres, and if you want to apply to an egg shape or an ellipse or, or eclipse, I don't know how it's pronounced, or something like that, they usually don't work. And so that method is what I call the layer method. But now I'm going to show you a method that I use and that I came up with and it gets the same job done faster, easier, and best of all, you can make all kinds of shapes with it. So step one is you find, you can also use this obviously to make a hemisphere like you would use in a biodome or something like that, but today I'm gonna be making a full sphere for you. So basically, what you do is you establish the radius of the sphere you wanna make. In this case, I'm gonna make a five block radius which means you make what you get the center block and then you go five out in every direction. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So on and so forth. Also, is this five? Yes. So you want to go into Y, which is direct up, positive Y, which is direct up. You want to go negative Y, which is direct down. These are the name of the coordinates. You want to go positive negative z, positive negative x, positive negative y, and you'll get this star thing with all of the arms five blocks long. And this is going to be the center of the sphere. Now, this is going to actually, I'll make it too longer in every direction just so you can make a little bit of a nicer sphere. The bigger the sphere you make, of course, the nicer it's going to be. If you want to make a semi-sphere, then you don't need to make this branch going down and only the branches going up. But for this, I'm going to make a full sphere. So this is 7 by 7. Now, you imagine if this is 7 and you have a middle block and then another 7, it's 7 plus 7, which is 14, plus 15, plus 1 equals 15. So you need to make a circle that has a 15-block uh, diameter. So this is where planning on the four comes in. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. And now go to the middle and do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is basically a slice out of the middle on the floor. And now design a sphere a circle that seems that it would fit in. So use a combination of two blocks long and three blocks long as long as it looks more or less like a circle so I'm just gonna go with this simple design here here it's two blocks long two blocks long one block two blocks long and two blocks long same two two one two two and if I fly up that looks like a pretty good circle now what you have to do is make the framework for this so the reason I'm using wool is because wool is a great material if you want to make a kind of airship balloon or a sail, which is huge, a, good, a good reason to use a sphere. So now that you have this, and when you're happy with your circle, so this looks pretty good, you apply the same thing here, two, two, and then you break this block here, so that way it comes on the nice corner, one, two, two, and it'll match up, break these, and then you do the same all around. So two, two, one, two, two. Break the edges so it's all nice and smooth. And not only do you have to do it like this, sorry, two, two, one, or two, two. You can do it however you want. As long as it comes out that this middle ring looks like your circle. So we need one more fourth over here. Two, two, one, two, two. Break the edges. 
and as you can see it looks pretty good now you have to now that you finish the flat surface you need to do the same thing going here so two two one two two break the edges so as you can see it works here and since all of these arms are seven blocks long it will all work out if you made it correct if you did not make it correctly then you have to make sure that all of the blocks on your star are the same length also it, you can also do this with a uh, odd number but that makes it more complicated so for getting started on that you should start with an even number as in all the arms are the same length eventually if you want to make an egg or something you would stretch out one of these arms and then you would uh, use the same method that I'll show you later on but for now we're gonna make a perfect sphere maybe even I'll make another video with turn with using the same method to make eggs and ellipses and stuff of that nature so break this break this break this break this and as you can see we're starting to make the frame of our sphere now we need to do four more lines on the bottom here two two one two two break the edges very repetitive two two one two two and a good reason that we're breaking it into these uh into these eight segments because a lot of methods break it into two or four segments but I found that if you break it into more segments it's less overwhelming because you can take it as little steps without ha but if you do it in bigger segments you have the need the urge to finish your segment before uh, starting something else and that gets you stressed and also uh, if you finish the segment and you don't like it uh, if you do do it in eighths you didn't do as much and you can always fix it but if you do it in like half the sphere at one time and then you end up don't not liking it you work four times as hard for something you didn't like so now we have the frame set up and if you have a really good imagination you can already see the sphere starting to take shape now you have to break out your star because that's only gonna get in the way later and you don't need it anymore that that was the basic frame now this frame here the circle frame is actually gonna be part of the object which means you can keep it so if you really want to and if you're making it out of like glowstone or glass or something that you want to save materials the star in the middle you should make it out of dirt or stone or cobble you know something uh, throwaway material but this frame out here you should make it out of the material that you want the final thing to be except for these edges here since you're gonna break you can also make them out of dirt but that just gets irritating switching switching between the blocks all the time so now we have this frame here this circle here you can disregard we're not gonna use that anymore now you find the length of the first little bit that comes off so in uh, excluding this middle block here the first bit that comes off is two blocks long so you go two blocks long add sorry about that add two blocks to each one so since this is two blocks long two one 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 two also here remember two blocks long so one two 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 this is two blocks long one two one two one two one two one two sorry and now you can see that we're starting to get a little bit of the of the shape of this now you find this for the next layer you go one up so you add a block here basically wherever it intersects and goes the next layer up you don't want to add the block here or basically yeah you could do that just add one block here go to this corner over here also you can do it here or there doesn't matter I'm just starting from here go here add one block one block on top of that break the block below now just do pretty much make this into a square or at least until it lines up with the edges over here as you can see this edge comes down here this edge comes down here so that's where you want to stop it you don't want to bring it out too far like this because then as you can see it's one solid line going here and you don't want that you want it to go up right to the corner you do the same thing here add a little add a little square do the same thing here add a little square and as you can see we already have an eighth of our sphere complete now you could if you want to stop here and you find that this sphere is nice enough you could just stop here and that would make a nice sphere 
but now I'll make another side here and do the same thing here and then I'll add an extra step that will make it nice an optional step but a nicer step to make this look from a blocky s sphere to a more rounded sphere and the reason I'm not just gonna do the extra step to this one is that way you can have a comparison so this is two blocks long one two 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 well one two one two this is two blocks long one two one two sorry one two one two one two one two this is two blocks long one two one two one two one two one two now add the block there block on top break the one on bottom line it up with these do the same here block in the middle block next to it break that line up with the sides same here block on the side block behind break that line up with the sides and as you can see now we have a quarter of our sphere done however now I'm gonna show you an extra step that you can do to these blocks here to make it nicer so now go to all the hard edges so as you can see this is a hard edge here this little corner this is a hard edge 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 so basically radiate out from the center of the frame here and break the first three hard edges so one two three go over to this side same thing one two three go to this side same thing one two three I'm gonna sleep so let's go back you see you broke the three over there if uh, if the sphere if you're making a bigger sphere then you're gonna have to break more than three you're gonna have to break until you come to the middle and that they all meet up you start just breaking corners so now that you broke the corners go to the inside of the sphere and fill in the corner so that from the inside so that you don't see it so one two three just so there's no hole go same here one two three so there's no hole same on the bottom one two three if you go back outside you can see it's getting a more rounded shape now go one layer further in so as you can see here three hard edges break the three hard edges in the middle go into that little hole cover it up from the inside don't cover it up from the outside we're just gonna undo breaking the hard edges and now this is a much more rounded sphere so as you can see this is the optional third step what it does is it takes it from a sphere like this and turns it into a sphere like this so as you can see it's much more rounded much nicer and if you have a big circle it makes it much better so as you can see it's pretty easy break those three break those three break those three go to the middle fill them in one two three one two three one two three go to this little middle part break the three hard edges there go up fill it in alright so I'm back to a server and these are a few sky ships that I've built I'm in F1 mode so you won't see anybody's username so if they don't want to be on the video then they won't have to be and there's a little bit of lag now but that's because it's multiplayer but these are just some airships that I built I built all of these and I'll point out where I use the sphere technique here as you can see two spheres hemispheres on the end make a nice balloon shape so if you want you can make a tube put two hemispheres on the end and you have a nice balloon same method here here's a big zeppelin that I've done the same thing uh, tube hemisphere on this end hemisphere on that end makes a nice balloon over here I made a blimp with a balloon at the top a full sphere on top above that I made a hemisphere out of blue wool and then drapes down make a nice cloth hanging over a sphere effect if I go over here you can see I've made this uh, kind of like submarine that flies type ship um, the circle here in the middle is a full sphere half of the sphere is made of blue wool half the sphere is made of glass this wood here was the frame this glowstone here was the frame if I go up here to my UFO you can see I have a hemisphere made of glass using all of the same techniques that I showed you today so it's pretty obvious 
how useful these techniques are when you're building. Once again, you can see I have two, uh, a little airship with a double balloon. Each balloon is a tube with a hemisphere on an end. All of these I built using the method that I showed you today. Here we have a, a little boat carrying a potion bottle. If you can see the potion bottle's bottom, it's like a round bottom flask, and so it's a giant glass sphere with one end cut off, made a tube, put a little cork on it. So this is probably, if, you, if you're into building cool big stuff, one of the most useful techniques that you can use, especially if you're into airships. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I mean, even this little tree here I made using that method. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I hope you like this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.